Hey everybody, Dr. Rafith here with another installment for uh, information regarding third molar extractions or wisdom tooth extractions. We've been doing it since 1999 here at Cascadia and uh, there's some pros and some cons to uh, third molar removal, so let's cover them. So the advantages of taking the third molars out is that you're, you're taking away some teeth that people normally can either find room for in the mouth or they just create problems with uh, greater risk for infection for um, gum and bone defects around the uh, second molars. We find that the third molars uh, are largely to blame for those defects. So um, to eliminate some of these gum and bone defects, you remove the, the wisdom teeth and then those gum defects around the, the molars you want to keep tend to go away. Uh, the other thing is that it's just simply hard to, to uh, keep things clean in third molars when you've got uh, when you're short on space and access is tough, so tooth decay is more prevalent in third molars as well as gum infections, and so reducing your risk with uh, uh, infections by getting the third molars out uh, again is um, you know a big advantage. Uh, the other the other things that uh, some people talk about is that oh I remove my my wisdom teeth and that'll that'll um, take care of uh, tooth crowding, that is not an advantage uh, for third molars. There, there just simply isn't any data that supports um, the removal of wisdom teeth preventing the crowding of teeth. Uh, but one other advantage that comes with removing third molars is that uh, you reduce the risk of having um, uh, impending cysts or tumors that can be associated with third molars. Uh, that's not a very common experience for our patients, but uh, it's still um, one of those things that uh, we tend to we tend to want to uh, prevent. And um, the upside of having your wisdom teeth removed when you're younger is that uh, the recovery is quicker and uh, the, the healing times are faster and um, you know the the amount of um, you know, post-operative infection uh, is low when you're younger versus when you're when you're older. Uh, disadvantages of taking third molars out is that, uh, you know, a lot of times we have to provide local anesthesia or sedation or general anesthesia, putting people to sleep. We have to manage their airways. So a number of different variables start to uh, pile up when we're thinking about comfortably treating patients with third molars. So in my practice, we have to judge every variable, medical conditions for patients, uh, the dental conditions, Weighing the costs and the benefits or weighing the pros and the cons of taking out third molars is different for every patient. So we've, we're thoughtfully planning out uh, how to take care of things, and then I'm exercising my judgment about whether or not it's really necessary at all. So come see us. Give us a call today. Uh, we'll take care of your third molars for you. Thanks.